This is a tutorial for a 3D boxy t-shirt that we'll be doing in Canva and Blender. So the first thing we're going to have to do is download the files, um, which are available in a link in the description. Um, to download them, you just click the download button here. Then we go to Blender, download Blender. Uh, you find that at blender.org, and then you can download that for both Mac and PC. All the software we'll be using is completely free. So you can follow this tutorial as long as you download everything. So the next thing you're going to have to do is once you've downloaded Blender and the files is go to Blender and open it. So when you open it, you'll have this screen here. And what we're going to do is locate the file that we downloaded and we're going to drag and drop the blend file into Blender and press open. So a few things to begin with with Blender. If you've never used it before, we're going to use it. We're going to go through it step by step with some simple navigation. So you can press play here to preview the animation. You can also use this icon to move around or to zoom in and out. You can press this one to go to the camera, which is what the picture will be once we do the render, which is the photo or the animation. You can press play to do the animation. You can also uh, check out the wireframe and different views here if you want to get technical with the 3D. But for now, we're going to stick with a material preview, which allows us to see our textures, but without being as taxing as the final result that you would see on a render. So right now we're in layout and we're going to go over to shading. So on shading, this shows us what our textures will look like once we design the file, or design the image that we want. So we're going to go to the add your design file, and this is the image we're going to use to draw on. Everything that's transparent won't show up on the 3D model. It's only the white pieces that will show up on the illustration in Canva. So let's head over to Canva. So once you've logged into Canva, we need to go to create design or create a design, custom size. And it's very important that you have 2048 by 2048 pixels. You have this blank image. And before we upload our file, we need to make sure that we have a contrast color that allows us to see the, uh, the, the model that we're working with. So I'm just gonna use a very simple gray box do that. Then we're going to go to uploads. I've up already uploaded it, but I'll upload it one more time to show you the, the process. So we go to add your design PNG, open, and it's loading it in. Once it's loaded in, you can either just click on it or drag and drop it into the canvas. The important thing is to make sure it lines up with the square. Now we can add our own designs. I've already made a preview of a design here, which um, I showed you at the start of the video. We're just going to make a very quick uh, design here just to help you with what you can do. You can draw, um, pretty self-explanatory. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to use elements that are for free in the elements file. So let's go to graphics, see all, and I am going to go to, um, not coronavirus, but to hand-drawn animals. And I'm just going to drag and drop a tiger in here and resize it. You can rotate it like this. You can resize it like this. Another cool thing you can do is um, you can change the layer by clicking on the, um, the image right clicking and then put layer and you can send it backwards so that the tiger's at the front or you can put it in any way you want. Cool. Right, now we're going to go back to, oh yeah, sorry. So once you've got the image that you, you like, I'm going to put this random turkey there as well, why not? Um, you go to uh, share and uh, download. Make sure that it's the correct size, which is this and download a PNG. Cool. 
Once it's downloaded, we'll find the file. What I will do is I am going to um, drag and drop the new design file into the same folder. Then I'm going to go back to Blender and we're in the shading viewport, uh, viewport here. It's important that you click that. Whoops. And then you can see here, this one here, you click on the folder and then you click on the new file that you've just done in Canva. Open image and it simply uploads it there. It's that fast and that simple. It's really, really cool. There's so many things you can do with Canva and Blender, Blender and uh, it's, it's completely, uh, yeah, it's, it's limit is your imagination. So let's render this. We're gonna go to output. We have to make sure that we're gonna save in a place we can find it. I'm just gonna save mine on my desktop and I'm gonna call it animal animation and press accept. Now I'm gonna save this as an image. So I go to render, render image. And once it's rendered, I can go to image, save as. I'm gonna save this as a PNG, render 001. And I'm gonna save it again, just on my desktop to make it easy for me. Save image, and hopefully it's there. It's that fast. If you wanna make this into an animation, you can just go to render, uh, render animation, and it will save in exactly the same place in the desktop. It needs to render 250 separate frames. Once that's done, it will be ready to, uh, to view as a 3D animation. So I'm gonna wait until that's done and show you the final result. Leave any comments or questions in the comment section. Um, hopefully you found this tutorial useful. And if you like this, you can find more models available on my Etsy store, which is in the description, or at clothingmockups.com. Okay, thank you. Bye.